Welcome to our latest Wandering Walks of Wonder Museum Tour. Today we're headed up to northern Kansas to the small town of Marysville and a tour of the Pony Express Barn and Museum. The Pony Express, operational for just a mere 19 months during 1860 to 1861, remains an iconic chapter in American history. It symbolizes the adventurous spirit of the Old West. The Marysville Pony Express Museum is a reminder of this remarkable era and uniquely preserves the legacy of the Pony Express. At the heart of the museum lies the pride and joy of its collection, the original barn, which was once a bustling live livery stable for the Pony Express. Constructed in 1859 by Joseph H. Cottrell and Hank Williams, this stone barn became a pivotal point along the route, serving as a crucial rest stop for weary riders and their steeds. Russell's Major and Waddell, who started the Pony Express, leased the barn in 1860 for Pony Express operations, with Quattrell maintaining his blacksmith shop within its walls. And here we can see the original barn as well as the original blacksmith shop. The saga of the Pony Express is brought to life within these historic walls where brave riders like Jack Keatley and DC Rising once passed through on their perilous journeys. From St. Joseph, Missouri to Sacramento, California, riders traverse treacherous terrain day and night, enduring all manner of conditions to deliver crucial mail. The iconic mochila, securely fastened to the saddle, carried letters across vast stretches of wilderness, changing hands at home stations like this one we see here in Marysville. Despite its brief existence, the Pony Express left an indelible mark on American folklore. The cost of sending mail was initially steep at $5 per ounce, later reduced to accommodate broader access. However, with the advent of telegraph lines across the continent in 1860, it heralded the beginning of the end of the Pony Express, marking the decline of this legendary postal service. In 1991, Marysville honored the heritage of the Pony Express as well as this historic barn by constructing a museum that's right next door uh, that we will be walking through here in just a bit. It faithfully replicates the architectural charm of the original barn. Today, inside the museum, uh, we see thematic scopes that extend, sometimes even beyond the Pony Express, talking about travels and trails and railroads through the West, about, and a little bit about the history of Marysville itself.
We're now leaving the Pony Express barn and heading into the museum itself. As you can tell, it still has that old-time western feel. And the first exhibit that we see is uh, all about Native Americans in this region of Kansas. One of the first exhibits are these Indian dioramas, which were created in the 1930s as part of the Great Depression's Work Progress Administration, or WPA, with artists creating these great dioramas that give us a feel of what Native American life was like back in the early years of Kansas. After the Pony Express, mail really began to take off, and here are some artifacts and historical information about what the Postal Service looked like just a little bit before the Pony Express started, and definitely after. A little bit different than what you see today.
The next part of the museum we're exploring has a look at some historical transportation artifacts, uh, including an old Conestoga, wag Conestoga wagon, as well as some early automobiles. Upstairs, this final exhibit that we're taking a look at has some dioramas, artifacts, and information about history of Maryville as well as pioneer life.
I hope you've enjoyed this wandering walks of wonder tour here at the historic Pony Express Barn and Museum in Marysville, Kansas. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and we will see you on our next wandering walks of wonder museum tour. Take care now. Bye bye.